Strike Stroke. My name is Dr. Magnus. Today we're going to look at the third component of the NIH Stroke Scale. The NIH Stroke Scale is a standardized tool used to assess and scale stroke symptom an individual is having in a stroke code. The third component of the NIH Stroke Scale is called Visual and is looking to see if an individual involved in a stroke code has any visual field cut. What do we mean when we say visual field cut? Visual field refers to an entire area in front of the individual that could be seen when they're looking straight ahead without moving their eyes or head. The visual field is divided into two parts, the left visual field and the right visual field, and it is processed by opposite part of the brain. So for example, the left visual field will be processed by the right portion of the brain. The location and the extent of the visual field cut varies depending on the extent of the damage. It can either be partial or complete. Therefore, this section is scored on a scale zero to three, zero being no visual field cut where the patient can see everything that is put on their visual field. One can be given to an individual who has partial hemianopia, which means the individual has visual field cut involving one portion of the visual field input, but it is partial, such as quadrantinopia. A score of two is given to an individual who has complete hemianopia, which means that both of the areas, the upper and the lower portion of that visual field cannot be perceived by the individual. A score of three is given to an individual who has bilateral hemianopia. That means that they cannot see. This could include cortical blindness. So for example, if an individual who comes to a stroke code already has blindness in one eye, let's say they had an injury when they were 20, and they're blind in that right eye, then we would only score the left eye and go through the motion and testing their visual field. If they have total blindness in both of the eyes, then we'll give them a score of three, but we would note the reason why or communicate to those who are making the decision that the blindness was already there prior to the onset of this new symptom that led to the stroke code. What does new onset visual field cut or new onset cortical blindness mean to us in a stroke code? It just tells us the individual's having a stroke. It can tell us the severity of the stroke if they're totally blind, that we know both of the territories in the posterior circulation involving the visual cortex is affected. But visual field cut can occur anywhere on the visual tract post the chiasm involving the lateral geniculate, the optic radiation, as well as the visual cortex and occipital lobe. In conclusion, the third component of the NIH stroke scale looks to see if an individual has visual field cut involving both eyes. Thank you for watching. In the next episode, we will look at the fourth component of the NIH stroke scale. And always remember to dial 911 if you or someone near you suddenly can't see, see can't, speak, can't speak, can't walk, or can't feel. Let the operator know that you or someone near you might be having a stroke so that you or the individual near you can be transported to the nearby comprehensive or primary stroke center for rapid stroke analysis and tailored treatment.